let's start with the login activity so we will create a new activity select empty activity and give it name login activity and then we will start with the layout Let me change the parent layout to scroll view and I will just add the background color. Then getting inside it, I will create one relative layout. Then define the layout width and height. And let me add padding all around it as well as the margin. And let's make the background color for this relative layout white all right then getting inside it we will start with a text view to display some headings so there's nothing much to explain here i will just quickly do the layout part and try to explain wherever it is required otherwise you can just follow the video and try to design your layout the way i am doing it we have already seen these layout while we were defining the register activity so these are pretty simple Then below the heading text view, we will have one text view to display email. Then below the email text view, we will have the edit text to let the user enter their email ID. And if you want it to look better, then for that we will just use border resource file the way we have used in the register activity. Then I will just copy the text view and the edit text. And paste them. And change the required properties to make it work for password
then below the edit text for password we need a login button And after that, I'll just define one progress bar so that when we click on login button, the user gets a feeling that something is working and it doesn't look like the page is stuck or the activity is stuck. Then we shall move to the Java class for login activity and we will start defining the edit text globally because we are going to use them in many methods so it's better to define them globally. So we will define two edit text one for login email and one for login password. Then I'll define the progress bar. Then after that we will have to define the Firebase auth variable that is the authentication variable. After defining the variables let's change the activity's name which will be displayed in the action bar. Then we need to find the views for the edit text as well as the progress bar. Then we will use the Firebase authentication and we have declared auth variable. So auth profile equals Firebase auth dot get instance. We are using auth profile even before the user has logged in. This will be used later to check if a user has already logged in and the user is coming back to the app. That is let's say a user has logged in into the profile and then the user just closed the app and now the user is restarting the app. So when he comes to the login page we don't want the user to enter the login email and password again. Instead we will just directly take the user to the profile activity. So anyways we'll see that later. Then below it we will define and declare the login button. And then after that we will set the set on click listener on the login button. Now once 
the login button is clicked that means the user has already entered the login email and login password so we can obtain those text from the respective edit text and save them in string variables then after that we will have to check whether the user has entered the data or not if the user has not entered then we cannot proceed so in that case we have to display error and let the user fill in those details before we can proceed so we have seen these kind of checks in register activity also Now in the final case where the user has entered the login email and password and then user is clicking on the login button in that case we will set the progress bar to be visible. And then we will just call this login user method where we will let the user login and we have to pass the user email and user password with this method. So let's just create this method. Then inside the method, we will use the Firebase auth variable that is the auth profile dot sign in with email and password. Then within the brackets, we have to pass the parameter email and password. Then finally we will just add the add on complete listener to listen for the completion of the task. Then inside the on complete method we will check whether the task was completed or not. If the task was completed, we will display one toast message showing that the user has logged in. And if the task was not successful, we will show another toast message.
and in either case we have to stop the progress bar whether the user was able to log in or not we have to stop the progress bar because the processing has stopped now let's move back to the main activity where we have defined the login button we had to comment out the part where the user can open the login activity and since we have defined the login activity we can uncomment it now let's run the app now if we click on register then the register activity is opening up if we click on login then the login activity is opening up now let's try to login i am getting some error let me check what the error is attempt to invoke virtual method progress bar dot set visibility on a null object reference so that means we have not found the view all right in the layout of the login activity coming to the progress bar i have not defined the id so that's why it was showing an error so let me just restart the app click on login and let's try to login now sometimes this kind of problem is there with the android studio that the emulator will not display any toast So in such case you can open the AVT manager and then wipe the device and then restart it. Most of the time it solves the problem. Let me try to run it again. This time I can see there is no internet in the emulator. I don't think it will work. So after restarting now I can see there's internet in the emulator so I'll try to log in now. And yeah now it is showing the toast message that you are logged in so that means we were successfully able to log in. So that completes the login. After this we will take care of the exceptions that might occur while a user is trying to log in. And then we will add the show hide password in the login activity.